Well, hello friends, neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome to the Nook. I know I'm coming out with a review on Sunday, but it's just been that kind of week. It's been pretty tough. I am very thankful I've got at least some time here on Sunday to talk to you about a bourbon. So I don't know enough about this bourbon and it just kind of came into my market with without a lot of information. This is a single barrel cast strength uh, store pick bourbon, but it was a store pick for Costco which is interesting. I'm starting to see more single barrel picks for Costco. That's new in my market. So this is George Remus. Uh, George Remus, you know, is, uh, well, I'll talk about the character maybe a bit later. I don't know enough about his history, but but this is part of the um, better release, signature release from Ross and Squibb Distillery, which is owned by MGP. It's part of what, what I think, you know, MGP is like selling a lot of liquid and went, Hey, we need to get into that premium market as well and so they release a number of uh of batches and different styles under the remus or george remus brand so this is uh well we'll tell you more when we get back if you've got any cast strength single barrel bourbon even better if you've got one of the george remus releases why don't you pour a little bit and then you can share your thoughts see if this one aligns with yours uh, and we can get to know this kind of line a little better so when we get back, we'll talk George Remus, single barrel, cast strength bourbon. Three, four. I meandered a bit on the intro and uh, I'll just say it's been a tough week and I don't have my camera out here so I might cut to some pre-roll or not I don't know it's nice to show you the bottle up close so this particular single barrel release as I said it's MGP and when you go to the George Rebus website they talk about having three different distinct mash bills but I cannot find out this 2022 Costco pick it's 57.1 percent alcohol what the mash bill is. And I only know of two mash bills for the bourbons. I know they've got a really high rye, like a 36, and then they've got a high rye 21. Uh, I assume they must have some kind of low rye one, but I don't know the third one. I'd love to know. So this probably has more direct relevance if you're in the Alberta area. This is 53 bucks Canadian for a 57.1% single cast, single barrel bourbon. Great value, but does it taste any good? Let's get into the whiskey on the nose. Well, it's spicy, but more um, cinnamon, um, big red gum, that kind of uh, little sugary sweet. I mean, it might be a little bit grassy on the nose, so maybe it's quite high on rye. Could be. Yeah, it's a little lighter, sweeter, it's fairly alcoholic. Oh, I don't know the age. I saw some websites that said, well, it has to be more than four. And then some websites that said, oh, minimum five. Another that said minimum six. So we'll probably play around the five, six year range. I'm just guessing. Yeah, so well, no, there's a little. Yeah, I, it's interesting I said big red gum just right now because I, there's a little bit of uh, cola artificial gum note in there, which I wasn't getting. I'm not far in, I've had a couple of sips, um, but spicier, drier, not a lot of fruit. It's not really juicy, not really buttery on the nose. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. Let's put together okay. It's got, um, lighter toffees, sweeter Werther toffees, not deep cooked caramels, not burnt brown sugars. But for me, lighter, sweeter, I'm going to go with higher rye. As much as 36? Well, maybe, because it is a little, little citrus almost, a little grassy, peppery, spicy. It's hot. Good oak and char comes through, you know, right, right there at that mid finish. Wasn't right the first thing even at the end, but now it's coming through. And I think that'll back up another sip. Like when you come back 
and now your, your palate's kind of acclimatized and you got some of that oak going. Let's see how that follow-up sip goes. Yeah, that's better on the follow-up because now it's still got a little bit of char, a little oak kicking around. It can balance some of that thinner, uh, sweet, dry spice drying in the palate. I'm going to go, I, I don't know what the mash bill is here, but I would not be surprised if it's one of those really high mash bills, uh, really high rye, like a 36%. Complete guess, and and I've been I've been fooled before, but it's drying, it's spicy, it's a little bit of citrus, not quite I say grassy, but not really, and that but sometimes I get a little more citrus out of rye, so it's a bourbon, it's not a rye, uh, it's definitely mostly corn, uh, it's a full barrel strength. Do I like it? Well, it's good, and I have no regrets buying it in my market right now for fifty three Canadian for a fifty seven percent. And it's a, it's a tasty, tasty bourbon. I will say I tried it with water the other day and it didn't really get a lot better. The nose got better, absolutely. But the palate didn't really come through. I'm going to give this, uh, like, I, I don't regret buying it. And I think if you are if you like a lot of cast strength bourbon, it's a good idea. But um, it's probably only three and three quarter, three and a half even, really. It's critically, I wanted more. I wanted more. So I wanted to compare it to something, and I, and I do have uh, still some of Ryan Egan's, I think it's the E4 1329 single barrel from Bullet. Uh, this one's rumored to be a little bit older, maybe like an eight-year-old. It's only 52% instead of 57. Uh, this one I'm pretty sure is 21% rye. Um, I don't know enough about it. Of course, the rumors is that these slightly older older uh, bullets are still uh, four roses, but I have no I have no idea. They do have their own distillery now, but it wouldn't wouldn't be this. But if you know exactly what it is, let me know. I'm sure Ryan knows. But at any rate, I thought this would be a nice comparison. It is a little lighter alcohol, but it is another single barrel uh, cast strength release. So let's give it a try. So in comparison. Uh, I would say we've got richer spices here. We've got uh, not quite Christmas cake, but you know, a little more gingers with the cinnamons, a little more, uh, what are the spices? Maybe if it's an edge of fruitiness, like a darker cherry. Yeah, I'm gonna say a little darker cherry on there um, and already a, a, a cooked, a cooked sweetness. All right, let's dry it on the pot. Cheers. So I find this richer. I find that the spice palette deeper. I'm going to add to uh, that like some brown sugar, but some cooked apple pies, some baking, uh, some pastry baking, some of that. Mm, that richer, just that depth of richness that 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 you get from from a, a barrel. I think that's. I don't know what that what the barrel was here, but almost like that toasted nature, and then you get the char and the oak. Um, so when I first had this, and I, I'm I'm farther into it, I liked it. I must say I like it more now, and in comparison to this, I like it even more. So now this barrel. Um, sits comfortably at a four stars for me, I think, somewhere in that. And this would probably shrink back to about a three and a half. I still recommend if you're into, into bourbon and you're in my market, it's, it's a good experience. It's great to have another uh, uh, a single barrel on the shelf and it's it's affordable and easy to pour and you can prove it to where you want. As I said, the nose kind of improves a bit with water for me. So I, I do recommend trying this, George Remus. It's just not knocking my socks off. And this single barrel has improved with time. I'm, I'm further into it. Uh, it's had some more air. I've got to know a little better. Maybe my palate's changed. And in this comparison, it stands out as a better bourbon, but it's always just my palate. It's just my thoughts. So thanks for joining me here. Um, I hope your week was significantly better than mine, that you're in good health, and that the coming week is even just a good average week. I think uh, a few of us need a couple of those heading into Christmas crazy, because you know, when Christmas break comes, there's a lot of pressures, financial and family and weather and all that stuff. Uh, so I do hope we all get a, a pretty good couple of weeks of almost normal before that craze starts. Oh, and I was not well 
on Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving, and I did want to shoot a little rare breed or a little wild turkey. Uh, to just sort of, you know, cheers my American friends. I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving, and if you're still having a good Thanksgiving weekend, good on you. Hope your families are well. You guys take care.